everyone. Oh, happy week of the Scorpio full moon. Oh, it's been potent, right? <laughs> How are you guys all doing? Please let me know. Um, I've been guided to do a Palladian channeling for us this week. And I was trying to tune in, or I was tuning in, to what guidance already needed to possibly come through about it or a certain theme. Um, and I think what the main thing is, is <laughs> that the Palladians and I think all of our extraterrestrial beings and support want us to remember how to have some fun while we're ascending, while the earth is purging, <laughs> while the things that are so crazy are happening so that we can still be gentle to ourselves, that we can still enjoy things, that we can still be creative and be hopeful and at the same time go deep in what we're being called to investigate or look at or heal or whatever, right? Whatever it is. So I think that's the main thing for sure. <laughs> we'll see what comes through. And um, just a little reminder too that our the monthly channeling event is on the Scorpio full moon. So April 23rd at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you would like to come to the live session, I would love to see you there. Um, we meet and I channel all of our teams. The Palladians come through, the Arcturians come through, other beings come through. I never know what to expect and it's always so magical. And yeah, it's quite a fun experience. So if you feel guided to it and can make it live, love to see you there. If you can't make it, it will be available for recording. Um, but if you do want to go ahead and purchase it, I can, you can send me what your intention is even deeper and then I send you the recording right away. So it's like you're there with us. Um, whatever you feel guided to. So, yeah, let's see what the Palladians have for us this week. And it's 444 on the clock, of course. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. All right. We'll start channeling and I'll see you guys on the other side and we'll chat for a little bit. <sighs> we are the Palladians. We always want to shower you in love. So a reminder that that is also what your highest self or your inner child wants to give to you. Even those in your experience that are having trouble navigating, at the core, all they really want to give is love. Even the darkest of souls yearn for love. So remembering that you all have that at your core allows you the space to surrender into the journey, to allow yourself to investigate what it is and what you can do to bring more love into your life, to give yourself more love. What actions can you take? What thoughts can you think? What do you need to listen to to help realign your frequency to more love? To also see what may be in the subconscious that is protecting you, yes, but also holding you out of love. It is contradicting your truth. It is contradicting the universal truth that is your natural abundance. We have some light language for you because we feel that the light language speaks more to your soul, which it does, but it speaks to a greater volume to your emotional intelligence as your minds are clearing, as your systems are purging old survival, as you are upgrading, as you are opening up to these new pathways, these new portals of expression for yourself, the new amounts of love that are being showered into your solar system, into your earth, from the planetary alignments, from your work you're doing internally. Everything is connected. 
that's how powerful you are. Please don't discount how powerful you are, even if you don't see what you want in that now moment or the next. These codes will also help be less hard on yourself, less weight, less inner critic. Clear, clear, clear. おかたやしなくな。いかだだ。おかだだだ。ぼしならきな。しょよこ。なやしくま。しゃやくま。なやきだらきのたしょこぽなだ。なやきかりこたしのまかな。いだだだ。おかとぼどいううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううううう
that is a sign you are expanding even more beyond what you thought possible. Look at that machine. And it will only bring more rewards as you move through it, as you embrace what's coming to the surface and asking for your attention. It is safe to be confident in your dreams. It is safe to trust in what you desire. It is safe to align with true abundance. Tuning your frequency, tuning your hearts to your divine highest timeline and the highest timeline for all involved. Music and humming, for example, as this channeler is, can be a great tool to help shift your energy very quickly, especially if you're having trouble with the mind racing or higher levels of anxiety. Having music that helps you shift your energy and your focus can be that tool to support your inner critic, support your highest self support you in any moment, any time that you need. <sighs> bringing you into the present moment, bringing you into your body, moving the body, allowing the body movement from that somatic release point because it is necessary to shift out of the DNA. Many of you are getting old DNA lifting to the surface, if you will, if we can give you the analogy that it has been in the depths of the ocean, which are your emotions, your DNA, the de depths of your soul, depths of your DNA, the molecules, it is now coming up in different ways, but it is coming up. So as you do that, it needs some clearing, it needs some movement, the water, the waves need to flow. Maybe even getting into water, into the ocean, taking a shower, a bath, whatever you feel called to do, let it bathe you. Let yourself be open to these frequencies that are constantly coming in, these higher frequencies. That again is why you're seeing the darkness, the shadow, the contrast as this high frequency light keeps coming in, the balancing of the scales. This is also a part of the frequency of the Scorpio depth, darkness, the scary parts that you have tried to close the doors on or be in denial about. They are needing to be seen and embraced and loved. None of you is ever needing to be hidden or deemed as bad for many of you this is inner child wounds that are coming to the surface so be gentle oh, it's finally allowing yourself to be in the creative expression of your highest sovereignty be gentle you are all moving through so much the energy is very fertile for you 
It is ready for you to plant the seeds, to surrender to what isn't in your alignment any longer. The values that you once had are shifting or the values that you had that you had to deny are coming back up for you to choose them, for you to choose yourself, for you to then attract people that support those decisions, that way of being. The resistance you may feel is just the old survival instincts, the fear of happiness at times, the fear of success. It is safe to move through the resistance. And we hope that these light codes and these messages help to confirm that you are right where you need to be going in the right direction, no matter how that changes, no matter what turns come to your path. You are safe to be more and more yourself, uniquely you. That is your magic. We are grateful for all of you so deeply. And we send so much love to you unconditionally, always. We are the Pleiadians. Until we speak again. Hi, everybody. Ooh. I feel like jello. <laughs> How do you guys feel? Oh. Wow. I hope that supported you guys. Oh. I feel so much leaving my system right now. <laughs> that was great. Oh, the candle just went out. <laughs> That's beautiful. Symbolic release <laughs> oh wow i would love to hear how you resonated with that channeling um those messages if you feel like sharing and um i my brain is blank right now sorry guys <laughs> um but yeah if you feel guided to have a one-on-one -on -one session with me i have readings available, channeling, personal channelings, um, energy healing sessions where we work on healing your system, empowering you to understand how to do that for yourself as well, um, integrating your abilities, your uniqueness. It's so much fun. I love it. Um, so if you feel guided to that, totally let me know. The links are below and you can reach out to me via email or on my website or on social media, on like Instagram, anywhere um, you feel guided to connect here, even in the comments, I'll get back to you. Um, so yeah, if you feel guided to the channeling event, I'd love to see you there. I um, am just so honored to have this community with you all, this channel to share all of these things. And um, yeah, I just really, appreciate each and every one of you. I feel all of you like <laughs> so much and um, yeah, let yourself integrate these codes. I feel like a lot is shifting through them. Um, so I'm gonna go do that for myself and probably listen back because I always have to listen back to let my human absorb it too. Um, so yeah. Be gentle, and I'll see you guys next week. Happy full moon in Scorpio, and have, yeah, it's the last full week of April. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I love you all. <laughs>